Shalom, shalom. This week's Parsha is Parshat Pekude. And in Parshat Pekude, it gives us a reckoning of all the materials that went into building the Mishkan. And it begins by telling us that the people had done everything the way that God had commanded Moshe. And it also mentions by name Bitzalel, who God had endowed with wisdoms of all sorts in order to complete all the tasks that were necessary in the Mishkan. And he told him to work in conjunction with Aholiab. Now, not just does, does it mention these two men by name, but the Torah makes a point to mention that Bitzalel comes from this Bitzalel, the son of Uri, the son of Chor, from the tribe of Yehuda. And it tells us that Aholiav was the son of Achisamach from the tribe of Dan. So why is it necessary for us to know which tribe they came from at this point in time? So I believe the reason why the Torah is telling us which tribe they both came from right now is because it had just told us that everything was done successfully. And there was this component from Betzal coming from Yehuda and from Aholiav coming from Dan. Those qualities of Dan and Yehuda working together, which is a key element in why everything was so successful. So let's look at these tribes for a second. The tribe of Yehuda, known as the, the lion, the leader, the, the one who is a go-getter, who is good at, at, at getting up and going and conquering, um, and also Yehuda, Lahodot, to acknowledge God. So somebody with this quality to inspire the people to get started, to be involved in the project, and, and to bring God into it, this is Yehuda. This is the, tr the, the attribute of Yehuda. But that's not the only important thing in terms of uh, having things be successful. What was also necessary was this quality of the tribe of Don. Now, what's the quality of Don? Dan was the tribe who, when they traveled in the desert, was the last tribe to make sure that no man was left behind, no object was left behind. And this is also essential because it's not just, you know, go get him and excitement and, and, and reason and purpose, but you need somebody to see to it till the end that everything is done completely. All the objects that need to be included are included. All the people are there. Everything is done and then it is full and then it is complete and then we can move on. And that's what they did. That's what they did. They did it so successful with the people of creating this, this unity, inclusion, inspiration, everything that the people need and they did that successfully. So much so that it seemed like when it says it, Moshe seems surprised and they did everything the way that God had wanted. Like there's an element of surprise because it was so perfect because these leaders were so strong in making sure that, that these things came alive. Everybody did their job with, with this excitement and the vigor and the feeling of importance because of those elements that were inspiring them that each person, like our job is, every person has an ability to bring down God in this world in his own way. And when we all do that, then then the world can be filled with the screen of God's presence. And everybody was so successful. This was a moment. This was like a groundbreaking moment of something in history that was incredible. They all did their jobs that God's screen of filled the whole of the space that Moshe could not even go in. This is something that's incredible. And I think the lesson today is so important with the time that we're going through, with this war that Hamas started, but that we needed a, a strong leadership and we needed to get going to, to, to start our, our, uh, our defensive against what they did in this war, to start our part in defeating the evil and going in with the beginning of making things happen but we also need not just to have started and to start the battle but we need don to make sure it's completed we need to don to make sure that no man woman child is left behind everybody's important everybody needs to remember everybody needs to be concluded included and only when that happens right can we successfully bring God down. God wants us to go, to fight, to do, 
to do in the name of God, in the name of peace, to defeat evil, bring God's presence down, but not until we've got everybody included. Every single person can never, ever be forgotten and has to be included. And it's crazy because this is a time, this is such a moment in history, a moment in history that God is giving us to really fulfill our purpose in this way. Because we've started this, this the, the Yehuda part of us has started as began. We need to make sure that that Don part of us completes it. Completes it. And with that, we can bring down the presence of God. When we do that, when we bring down the presence of God, by all of us doing our job in the way that God wants like that, there will be peace. And we can live in peace and harmony because God's presence will, will fill the earth. And when God's presence fills, there is no space for anything else but peace. I think peace will be a natural consequence. And I think that's the message here. Shabbat Shalom.